same log flume route, but it opened in 1969 and remains to this day one of our most popular attractions. Just beyond those tall pine trees, Jerry will be able to set up camp for the Peanuts game. Camp Snoopy, which opened in 1983, was the first theme park area that was dedicated to children under 12 years of age. Um, in the distance, you can see an ancient Aztec temple, which is our Jaguar attraction, a family roller coaster that sends passengers on an exciting tour of the Fiesta Village, through the loop of Montezuma's Revenge and around the Flexion Lake. Speaking of Montezuma's Revenge, it opened on May 25, 1978, making it Knott's Berry Farm's longest standing roller coaster. Montezuma's Revenge is an exciting ride that catapults passengers out of the station at 55 miles per hour. After a moment of weightlessness, the train zooms down the tower, backwards, goes back through the loop, and passes through the station on a second 112 foot tower, then back down the tower into the station. Just to the north, you'll see Accelerator a high-speed 1950 steam roller coaster that uses a hydraulic launch system to catapult guests from 0 to 82 miles per hour in 2.3 seconds, up and over 205 foot hill and a series of hairpin turns, all in under 22 seconds. To the west is the Ford Bar Band, which features our family coasters, Ghost Rider, Pacific Scramble, Ghost Rider, Surfside Rider, on which riders pilot their own two-person aircraft in a scenic view of the Ford Bar Band. Okay, one more, go all the way at the top. You may stand up until we go back down. Thank you so much. Enjoy oh, wow. the view. I can't with the stand off. Oh, really? On Gil's sky, Tata? Well, that's what I need now. Um, we were on that, you and Daddy were on that ride. That's the launch poster, guys. I can't think of the name. Now, this coaster makes me pick up the Wilson page and back in the good old day. You must have voted at Miracle with me. Orange? Oh, yeah. Because we're going in circles. Oh, I just found a coat. So he also been all right like this. I'm like, is it okay? Is it safe again? Oh my god, are there the um, thingy open? The water line? Oh my gosh, this cave right here? This is the Roggles Run ride. Wow, I'm surprised people aren't ride it. It's kind of brisk here. It's only 66 degrees. What now it's really. Ladies and gentlemen, we have just been cleared to land at Knott's Berry Farms Portal. Please make sure you have collected all luggage and personal belongings you may have brought on board. If you require assistance exiting the Sky Cabin, please remain in your seat until all other passengers have exited. One of our crew members will then be pleased to assist you. On behalf of Knott's Berry Farm and the entire crew, we are looking forward to seeing you on board again in the near future. Have a nice day. I won't mind doing this ride again. A good place to get into AC on a hot day, or if not, a place that you want to sit and relax. One thing I want to say here about Knoxville, on almost all rides, it's a cubby. You can put your stuff, but just like Quack says, we're not responsible for us throwing items. That's what they say here too. There's several signs, you know, that area rides, so. 
saying the right words. <laughs> this is what the seats look like. And Hope Sky Tower is open at our place to see you. And also, when you get in, they ask your life. It's like how Sky Tower is normally. So that was interesting. Either side. Wow. Here's what the uniform looks like, guys. Yeah, you think why I just going dark to the, the orange color, but this is their uniform. Let's see if they are. Okay, that's their Sky Tuck Tower. And from the outside, it's what it looks like. Yeah! I want my line this baby again! I don't have to get another ticket from the hotel for only 45 bucks. I gotta come back here tomorrow. So, they'll call those Sky Cabin. Of course, it's we call it Sky Talk Tower. Very similar. Very similar. Okay. Let's see what else they have around here. 